Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are here for the holiday edition of the World Docs Virtual User Group Meeting. That would be the December 2015 World Docs Virtual User Group Meeting being put on by Attorney Computer Systems. And uh, today we are talking about Audit Trail, auditing what you've done to stuff. World Docs is keeping track of it. Might as well take advantage of that. Mary Jo's going to talk about that. And I'm going to talk about the new functionality and some of the old functionality in World Docs as it relates to favorite matters. Without any further ado, I will now press a series of magic buttons in an effort to get to World Docs so that Mary Jo can tell us about the audit trail. Okay. Audit trail, fun times here. So I'm just going to go out. Yeah, we're getting a little punchy here. It's like, oh, the third one today. Anyway, all right. So I'm just going to go into some favorite matters here just real quick. And I, I guess I'm not because Paul still, I just three out of three that I have not had control. I just, I, yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna take it away, and then I'm gonna give it back. All right, thank you, please. Okay, wiggle. I got it. All right, so I'm just gonna go out to favorite matters. So I just want to find a document. So I'm just gonna show all my favorites here real quick, or Paul's favorites. I'm not sure who's who we're in anymore, but we're gonna go in here, and I'm just gonna pick a document because let's say, um, well, or not. What'd you do? Okay. <laughs> What 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 are you what are you doing? Okay, I'm closing all your windows. I'm gonna freak you out. Okay, this is really fun today. Okay, I didn't click it. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. All right, it's loading. I just want to see what has been happening on a certain document. Okay, so I want to get the history. I want to know what has what's what's been you know saved, what's been deleted, what's been happening. It looks like all of your favorite matters or, or documents here, Paul, are pretty much. There's a test. There we go. I was going to say I want just a not a non email. So, but it doesn't matter. I could do an email too. But I just want to pick this document, and we have this little button up here called Audit, and I'm going to click on that. And I am going to do the file audit. And so we're going to go in here, and it's going to look at this, and it's going to tell me what has happened with this particular document. So I can see that it's saved in the cabinet, um, the client file cabinet. Um, I can also see that um, from here it was saved on a certain date by Paul Perdue. Um, and I can see he had opened it to save as um, that same day. Um, so on a test document, he was probably playing around with that and saved it. So I get a little bit of history on what's happened on this particular document. Let me go do another one. I'm just going to click on this email, do an audit. Again, I'm just doing the file. And I'll get the history on this document. So I can just backtrack, and it starts with, um, you know, back here at 9.36 it was moved to, it was opened um, on 11.23, and it was again opened on 11.23 a little later in the day. Um, so I can see all these things and who did it. So this could be helpful if you're trying to figure out if something were changed or moved or what happened to it and who did it and when. So audit trail for this purpose of looking at a document's history is very helpful. But I'm also going to show you what if you just wanted to see events that happened for you. And I have a firm that some of their attorneys use this to recap their day. Everything that they've saved into World Docs, whether it was an email or a document or whatever they have put over into World Docs, they go in and do an audit search on all the things that they've put in in that time frame today or that week or whatever, and that's, that's how they decide how they're going to bill their time because everything they've worked on should, is moved over into World Docs. So to do that, if I click on the audit and just choose search, now I've got some things I can pick in here for parameters to search on. So I can say I just want the events for today, which is the 21st, I can specify a cabinet, and if I'm doing this for time, I probably am going to want the client cabinet. And so I can pick that. And then I can say if I want a certain field that it equals something. Maybe I want a profile field to be a certain thing. My instance, I just want all the client files. I don't know what I'm looking for because I want to get everything. I don't want to limit it. 
I also could filter by a document ID or description, but again, I want everything. I want to see all the things that have happened today. But if I were looking for an email, maybe I was looking for a specific email that I know I saved today, I could actually go in and I could, you know, look at that kind of a um, search. I could get a part of that description or, you know, look in there and see what I've gotten. Otherwise, I'm just going to get everything. So I can narrow it down a little more. I also can narrow it down by users. So I can click on the little user button. Now you see, I, I clicked on that little, you know, this is saying not these users. So if I want to say I want everybody but somebody, I could change that to a little minus sign and then say I want everybody but Leanne or everybody but be wary. Whatever I want, I could go in and restrict it. Or if I have it on the plus sign, it's I want just these users. So if I just want what Paul has saved in there today, I would just click on him as the user and select it. And then I can also do events. So if I do my little drop down, I can say that I want to see just the things that Paul has checked out today or that Paul has deleted today or that he has saved or opened or removed or whatever. You've got all of these little actions here that have happened that you could restrict in multiple. So I could say I want to see everything he opened and everything that he printed and everything he replied to. I could pick and choose. But for my purposes, if I want to get everything for that day, I wouldn't pick anything. I would just leave that open, wide open. I want everything. And I'm just going to say okay. And it's going to go search, and it's going to show me that there are three things that he's moved to World Docs today. And these are the three things, and what, where they are, what the doc ID is, and that he did it, what time he did it. And I can even click on these to open them to find out what that document was. And I'm not going to do that because I don't even know what that is. And I don't want to bring up <laughs> – I'm showing the audit. I'm sorry. Is it okay? I, I, I wanted to be quick on that because I didn't know what I was opening. <laughs> there may be things in Paul's email that I don't know and I don't want to know. But anyway, so this is just saying the whole thing, that it was moved, and then the file was moved from the sent items and so on. So I can see all that information. And then you can print that out as well. So you can get all kinds of different combinations in your search so that you can figure out what happened in your day, in another user's day, in, and all the way down to a particular document and see the history on that one document and what has happened for it. So this is really useful, especially if you just want to, um, you know, bill your time from there or just see it just for informational purposes. So good little tool. I think it's Awesome, and I'm going to send it to Paul. We've used it quite a bit in the last couple of days because we have a client that's just put in World Docs. We have mm -hmm. several, but we have one in particular that in the past couple of days, a couple of documents have gotten moved to the wrong place, a couple mm -hmm. of documents have gotten deleted accidentally, mm -hmm. and I've been we've been able to find exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in this instance, the IT person goes back to the backup, finds the old document that was deleted, and it's back in place. Mm -hmm. But without that, it's hard to tell what happened and, and, and where it went. Well, it's a good training tool as well. If you get a new user in and they do some mistakes and they put things in the wrong place, you can track it down and then you can use that and tell them, you know, hey, you know, you, yeah. you, you accidentally put this here. We want to use this yeah. procedure, not that. It, it's just a good training tool as well. And not so, only that, not just from a, being able to uh, show them what they've done perspective, mm -hmm. but also from the... When I train in World Docs, I tell people, don't worry about what you're doing because we can always get back what you've done as long as we've got the audit trail and a good backup. Mm -hmm. So it really puts people's mind at ease to know that uh, no matter what they do, if they make a mistake, the audit trail is going to, to get them out of it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to talk about something that's changed a bit in version uh, GX4. And uh, and also in GX4 has has not changed, so it's always been there. Um, it's 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 a lot cooler from a uh, from an automatic sort of standpoint. It's favorite matters. Now, favorite matters in GX3 and prior was a very mysterious thing. Uh, I don't think Mary Jo and I ever really had a good grasp of what made something a favorite matter and what made something not a favorite matter. Uh, and it was also kind of small. Uh, you only had a certain small handful of favorite matters. So it wasn't based on, on, on recency. It was based on a number. So let's pretend it was 24. Well, for somebody that only works in 
you know, let's say 12 matters every month, that's, that's no big deal. Yeah, 24, that's my, my favorite matter is it's two months worth of stuff. But for somebody who's got 100 matters that they're working on each month, um, favorite matters didn't do them any good. So, and it changes, yeah. It, it used to be uh, less predictable. So with favorite matters now, and the place you can most readily see this although I'm going to show you all the other places you can see it, is in your email. So if we go out to email, let's just get on deleted items here, and then go down here. Uh, what I need to do is actually get into my mailbox and look for the uh, World Docs folder. And there's a place here called Client Files. And in Client Files, we have, uh, you should have checked this, Mary Jo. I've been playing with this, and mine is empty. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I was I was messing with this and I probably screwed it up. Well, okay, let's show it here. Well, first off, let me explain what you should be seeing here. Is that we have always had the ability to create drop folders in email, but now your favorite files and favorite matters show up here automatically. So if I hadn't had screwed this up last Friday when I was playing with it, and if uh, alternatively, if we had checked this before we did this, like we usually do, we would have noticed this and fixed it. But uh, there should be an arrow here that when I open it up, it'll show me all my favorite clients. And when I open up each client, it'll show me the favorite matters. And right now, the way World Docs is, the minute I access something or open something, or save something to a matter, it becomes a favorite and stays that way for a set period of time. Now, as I said, I've been doing some things I wasn't supposed to do. Actually, we had a client that we had to delete these for, and I tested it in my own folder and then forgot and didn't regenerate them. But nonetheless, favorites show up automatically now, and they're almost always correct. Because think about it. If you put something away an email or a document in a matter, or if you open up something from a document or a matter, um, it's your favorite. I mean, for, for the time being, it's something that you have worked with recently, and it will stay that way for a set period of time. We don't know the exact number of days. We think it's about a month. And so if you go a month without saving anything else to that matter or without pulling anything else up from that matter, it will drop off automatically. And that's very, very cool. You've always had these files over here, this World Docs folder that you could then these things under, but you had to do it. Uh, for instance, I've got some email favorites that I created manually. And so these are all my manual email favorites for me taking my email and, and classifying it. But I created these manually. These other favorites the ones with the parenthetical note or the, the bracketed note around the name of the profile group or the name of the cabinet, those are the ones that are created for you automatically in World Docs. They also show up here under favorite files. And, sorry, favorite matters. It's this one, not favorite files. Favorite files is this. Um, keep in mind, some people consider a matter to be a file. They say, go get me the Jones file, go get me the Jones matter. In World Docs, being a file management or a document management system, favorite files refers to actual documents, and that's the same as this up here. Favorite matters, which is this little file folder with a heart icon in front of it as opposed to a piece of paper with a heart icon in front of it, are my favorite matters. So I've got different clients that I've been working on, and they, every time I do anything to any of these clients, they automatically pop up in my favorite matters. And so that's very cool because I can go straight to Crowley Ehlers, 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 just by double clicking on that matter and bam, I'm there. I don't have to go up to direct access or go up to search and find them that way. I go to favorite matters. I click on somebody. Here's Bert Barr. Here's Eric Dean. These are all people that I've worked on recently, and they just show up in this list automatically. Another place that's very handy is that if I go in the Word and I create a document and I go to save it, 
And you've had this all along, and if you didn't see it when you got up to GX4, it's there. Favorite matters. I want to save this to Fraser. Bam. I just double-click that, and Fraser's in there. So favorite matters is really beefed up in World Docs GX4. It follows you everywhere. It's there when you go to save. It's there when you go to retrieve simply by pulling open this favorite matters tab right here and seeing all your favorites. It's there when you go to Outlook, or at least we're going to pretend it's there. Paul whacked it on Friday trying to solve a problem for a client. But those same clients and their corresponding matters would show up under here if I hadn't done that. And so that's what they mean when they call them follow me favorites. In World Docs GX4, they now have this really cool automatically maintained favorite feature and they follow you. They follow you to Outlook. They follow you to saving a document. They follow you to retrieving a document. They follow you every place where you're to fill out a profile screen, either to, to find something, to go into, um, to look for something, to go into uh, direct access. No matter where you are, where you can specify a client and matter, they're going to be there for your client profile group. And so that's it. That's favorite matters. It's, it's something that has been there all along. So if we have recently, or you have, if we've updated you, or if anybody has updated you, or if you've updated yourselves to version GX4, it's been there. And I'd be willing to bet that nine out of 10 people that have had that have not noticed that and haven't seen it. And I think it's very cool. Now, next month, we're going to talk about projects. I'm going to take that subject. Projects are just a way to put something are links to a bunch of documents into a place where you can you can send them to somebody, kind of grouping your files together without having to move them into a separate folder. And Mary Jo's going to talk about that mysterious thing called the indexer. You've heard of it before. You know it's there somewhere. You don't know what it does. We're just going to kind of demystify it so that you get a better understanding of what the indexer does and, and why. Um, before we go, though, I want to tell you that uh, if you go to our website, which is Attorney Computer Systems. Dot com, and I will emphasize it's attorney computer systems. Don't forget the S at the end of systems. We have a section on videos where you will find our water cooler virtual user group meetings, all three of them. We have one for tabs three, one for practice master, and one for world docs. We also have our coffee pot webinars that I do every month on some sort of a, um, usually it's an add on or something extra that you can do with a program. Uh, Mary Jo has her eBytes video series where she recorded records uh, three. But as far as the uh, work virtual user groups go, if you want to, for instance, click on World Docs virtual user group. Mary Jo, did you give me keyboard and mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a little humor there. Um, you will see. Uh, you will see very soon uh, what the registration information is for the next World Docs virtual user group meeting in January. Along with that, there will be links to click on to register. And as you scroll down, you'll see uh, the current, um, the, 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 the content, the recorded copies of the, the videos from the prior meetings. Mary Jo's laughing at me because I'm stumbling over my words over here. So we have recorded the World Docs virtual user group meeting for about two, maybe three years. All this content is here. Uh, not only can you browse this and just kind of scroll through and look and see what's out there, but you can also go up to the top and uh, click on search and type something like um, search. will probably take me to a list of videos about, well, searching in Practice Master, but also the new features of World Docs GX4 has something about search, favorites management and search functionality in GX4. So these are all the topics that have the word search in them. And if you want to learn something about World Docs and search, you might click that video and there it is, ready to go. So take advantage, please, of all this content. It's there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can spend a whole weekend watching these if you'd like, and some people have. It's our Christmas gift to you. So everybody have a good, good Christmas, a good holiday, and we will see you next year. Thanks much. Bye-bye.